right off the bat with Jack Shippey, you notice his smile uh, and his curiosity. No, not the lens, buddy. He smiled early, laughed early, like earlier than typical kids even. You can't help but be sucked in. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> he went right for my eyeball. Jack's a pretty happy guy. <laughs> The laughing and smiling are all very real, but ironically, they're also a symptom of a rare neurological condition called Angelman syndrome. Other symptoms are seizures. He doesn't speak. They often have balance problems. So it's a fairly what we would call severe neurogenetic disorder and, and affects uh, different regions of the brain. With all the problems they have, you might think that they just wouldn't be happy, but... Um, <laughs> That's a real blessing. Now, researchers want to study conditions like Angelman syndrome, but the problem is in the brain, which is conveniently covered by a nice thick skull, thankfully. So researchers at the Yukon Health Center have had to get a little creative. We obviously can't biopsy the brain. We can't get live brain tissue from people. This uh, new technology came about called uh, induced pluripotent stem cells, which basically means we can make stem cells from someone's skin. It sounds pretty sci-fi, but it's no fiction. Uh, years ago, we would have all said, you can't make a cell go back. You can't start with a skin cell and make it go back to a stem cell. It's a huge breakthrough for us. Sure enough, if you introduce the right molecules to the right kind of cell, it slowly begins to deprogram itself. After about three weeks in this process, you end up with uh, stem cells that uh, are, are enough, that are STEMI enough. We can actually take those stem cells once we've made them from someone's skin and make brain cells out of them. It's like magic. Skin cells have become brain cells, cells which still exhibit all the signs of Angelman syndrome. And it's obviously these fine connections that we think are, uh, are not working well in, in diseases such as Angelman syndrome. So doctors can now make a living model of the disease to study. At this present stage, they're not ready for doing therapy on people, but they are uh, really for testing things like drugs. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it would be nice to have a cure for it. If we could uh, figure out a way to totally get rid of the seizures, that's one of the biggest problems and that's one of the hardest parts. We would hope that we can improve their quality of life. In Mansfield, I'm Tim Lammers, Fox, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy.